Hi there, I'm Jack Canfield. And today Guys, talk... pernah kepikiran gak sih jadi seorang milioner? Nyatanya, di dunia ini gak ada yang gak mungkin sih. Kalau kita menjadi salah satu milioner itu bisa aja. Seperti yang dikatakan oleh Jack Canfield. Gak ada kata terlambat untuk sukses. Ayo dong guys, kau bisa like video ini. Subscribe juga dan nyalakan belnya, biar kamu gak ketinggalan video terbaru dari kami. Nah, bagi kamu yang belum tahu Jack Canfield, pria kelahiran 19 Agustus 1944 adalah seorang penulis Amerika, pembicara motivasi, pemimpin seminar, pelatih perusahaan, dan pengusaha. Dia adalah rekan penulis seri Chicken Soup for the Soul, memiliki lebih dari 250 judul dan 500 juta kopi yang dicetak di lebih dari 40 bahasa. Gak usah banyak ngomong lagi deh, ini dia. Lima tips sukses Jack Canfield. You know, gravity just is. So if someone's complaining about something, it means they know there's something they can do about it because we don't complain about the things we can't change. So as soon as you hear yourself complaining, I want you to stop and say, okay, what would I rather have? Remember, law of attraction always says, focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Because when you're talking about what you don't want, when you're complaining and blaming, you're focusing on that which you don't want, and you're accelerating its expression out into the universe with those negative feelings. And yet, we'll spend a majority of our time complaining about so many things. And usually, we complain about them to people who can't do anything about it. If you're going to be successful in creating the life of your dreams, you have to believe that you are capable of making it happen. You have to believe that you have the right stuff and that you're able to pull it off. Now, whether you call it self-esteem, self-confidence, or self-assurance, it's a deep-seated belief that you have what it takes, the abilities, the inner resources, the talents, and the skills to create your desired results. Let's start creating the ones you want by believing you can. Sounds a little strange, but accepting this level of responsibility is uniquely and inevitably empowering. It means you can do, change, and become anything at all. Trust yourself. You know deep inside what's true for you. And if you'll take a few minutes and go inside, we call it meditation, and just ask and sit with the question and see what kind of feelings come up. Does this feel right? So do all the rational research, but then ultimately bring it back into your heart and decide, does this feel good for me? And if it makes sense up here and it feels good, then step into it. Just lean into it and see what happens. Pursue it. No decision is forever. You can always change if it's not what you want. But the real truth is that there's only one person responsible for the quality of your life, and that person is you. You see, everything about you is a result of your doing or not doing. Your income, your debt, your relationships, your health, your fitness level, your attitudes and behaviors, everything. That person you see when you look in the mirror is the chief architect in your life. So literally, without goals, you're directionless. You will be used. See, people without goals get used by other people who have them. People that don't have goals work for people who do. And so you want to be someone who picks up and gets clear about what you want. Make a list, 101 goals. I want to go to Paris. I want to you know, skydive. I want to bungee cord jump. I want to play the guitar. I want to learn to juggle. I want to learn two magic tricks for the kids. I want to go to the Olympics in Beijing. Whatever it is, make the list. And you'll see there's a lot of stuff under there that you've kind of put down that you want. And you can have anything you want. Intinya sih guys, sikap keterbukaan untuk terus mau belajar di dalam kehidupan itu penting banget. Semoga abis video ini kita bisa belajar dari Jack tentang pentingnya mengejar mimpi. Oh iya guys, seperti biasa, ayo dong share video ini ke teman-teman kamu. Bisa lewat Facebook, Line, atau Whatsapp. Supaya dengan bantuan dan perhatian kamu, teman-teman kamu jadi terinspirasi untuk lebih sukses ke depannya. Untuk jadi sukses aja nggak cukup, kita perlu juga ilmu. Nah, kebetulan finansialku emang baik banget. Download aja secara gratis ebook cara mengatur keuangan untuk usia 30-an. Beruang, gratis loh guys. Abis video ini, mending tonton juga rahasia sukses dari Chairul Tanjung. Si anak singkong yang sukses di dalam tiga sektor bisnisnya. Kalau kamu ada komentar tentang video tadi, boleh di komen. Kalau ada referensi menarik yang pengen dibahas di video finansialku selanjutnya, langsung komen aja. Pasti kita bantu kamu. Terima kasih sahabat finansialku.